Santa Fe Judge Friday dismissed the involuntary manslaughter case against Alec Baldwin for the fatal shooting of Helena Hutchins on the set of the film Rust after ruling that the prosecution concealed evidence from his legal team. Baldwin cupped his face in his hands and wept as Judge Mary Marlowe Summer dismissed the case with prejudice, meaning the charge cannot be brought against the actor again. The state's willful withholding of this information was intentional and deliberate, Summer said. If this conduct does not rise to the level of bad faith, it certainly comes so near to bad faith as to show signs of scorching prejudice. The judge added, there is no way for the court to right this wrong. After the judge's ruling, prosecutor Curry Morrissey spoke with the media outside the courthouse. I'm disappointed because I believe that the importance of the evidence was misconstrued by the defense attorneys, but I have to respect the court's decision, Morrissey said. Baldwin's brother Stephen was in court every day of the trial showing his support. After Baldwin's major win in court, Stephen had one thing to say when asked for comment by Fox News Digital. I got one word, Stephen said as he got into a car, scorching. Scorching. The third full day of the trial in the first judicial district court opened with defense attorney Luke Nickas accusing the state of withholding evidence that prop distributor Seth Kenny was the source of the live ammunition. The move prompted the Santa Fe judge to send the jury home so she could hold an 11 the hour hearing, which led to lead prosecutor Curry Morrissey calling herself as a witness. Morrissey emphasized on the stand that she never believed that the evidence in question, which came from ex-Arizona police officer Troy Tesk, was exculpatory because the ammunition turned over to law enforcement never left the state of Arizona before the fatal shooting on the rust set. I decided not to take any steps to collect this ammunition because it was in Arizona, had never come to New Mexico, and didn't match the live rounds on the set of rust. Morrissey testified. The defense team argued investigators and prosecutors concealed evidence related to the source of ammunition linked to the accidental shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the film Rust in 2021. Armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed was convicted of loading a live round into a revolver, which Baldwin fired, killing Hutchins and wounding director Joel Souza. During her trial on March 6, Tesk, who is also a family friend of Gutierrez Reed's father, walked into the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office and delivered a collection of rounds to crime scene technician Marissa Popple. He said the rounds came from Kenny and matched the bullet that killed Hutchins. Popple admitted Friday at the hearing that she didn't inventory the evidence from Tesk under the Rust case, but instead under a different case number. The defense also didn't receive a supplemental report on the new evidence. Santa Fe County Sheriff's Corporal Alexandria Hancock, the lead investigator on the case, admitted this decision was made in consultation with prosecutors and her supervisors. Okay, K. Okay. So you, you all had discussions about what to do with what he dropped off? Asked Judge Summer. Yes, she replied. And you all agreed to put it in the separate file? The judge pressed. Yes, she answered. The evidence was also not stored with the other evidence for the case, she said. Defense attorneys appeared to have learned about the ammunition Tesk turned over from body camera footage that captured him walking into the sheriff's office. At the time, he told Popple that he had critical evidence and offered to give a statement. Morrissey told the court earlier in the day that the first time she saw the supplemental report, which was allegedly withheld from the defense, was that morning. The stunning blow to the prosecution team, which had been working on the case for more than three years, arrived after the state had called only seven witnesses.